This is the John Taylor signature bass that comes out of Dinwall in Canada. Um, this is a part of the ready to play models like the Combustions and NGs and D Rock. Um, so basically, made in Asia and uh, controlled in uh, Canada. Uh, they use about, I think, three hours per base when it comes from Asia. So it will follow up on the specs of what you expect of a Dingwall. The base body is a Nieto and the Perfero fingerboard, maple neck and the um, Nodinium pickups and the Neve preamp. So um, that's the base. Um, when I first heard about John Taylor being a Dingwall artist, I was kind of like, yeah, really? Okay. Is that, is that something that the Dingwall can benefit from being like primarily um, a metal brand with the exception of like the monstrous legend of Lee Sklar, but um, um, the more I thought of it and also checked in on John Taylor's kind of like a amazing career with Duran Drang, but also like what kind of basses he played. He's been very experimenting. So in that regards, I actually think it's a pretty cool fit. Um, but obviously uh, one of the questions, the metals guys would be like, ah, can you play metal? And um, we had Sheldon here for a masterclass um, some months ago, actually now. It's, it's, it's beginning to be some months. Uh, but uh, uh, the players that was there were primarily also metal players and they played the bass and were like, oh, really? Okay, it can actually play really cool metal uh, at the same time as being a pubish, organish kind of vibe with all the normal features of the thing was with, you know, the tightness and the powerful, potent uh, tone. Um, so in, in that regard, it's, it's a more flexible bass. It's, um, yeah, and again, warmer and organic without, you know, losing the punch and the tightness of the B string. Obviously with the multi-scale fan fretted, uh, the multi-scale system, uh, you get uh, like a, a nice and easy G string and you get a tight B string so it's more equal over the strings. Bigger news on this bass, beside being like uh, the John Taylor real bass, um, John Taylor and Sheldon reached out to uh, the Neve guys, uh, Rupert Neve preamps, uh, because John played his bass through a Neve preamp while they were doing the Rio album. So it kind of makes sense to ask them if they you know, wanted to do a onboard preamp uh, for bass. And luckily it turns out that the Neve guys are basically one of the bros. <laughs> there are a lot of bass players at Neve preamp. So in that regards, uh, they geeked out basically and wanted to do like their best version of a bass preamp, onboard bass preamp. And they tried a lot of stuff and then basically came up with the preamp that are in the base, uh, which I find uh, really, really good, like insanely good. And I wish, I hope for that uh, Neve will uh, eventually uh, make the preamp available uh, for all brace brands, because I think actually uh, the base community would um, benefit from it actually pretty big time. Um, the controls here, uh, um, volume and the rotary switch, 
uh, pickup selector, and then you have the tone, uh, active-passive tone, and then the bass and treble. And one of the kind of like the small uh, hidden features is that you actually kind of get like two uh, uh, treble uh, sounds uh, if you crank up the treble here and then uh, dial a bit of the uh, tone down you get a different kind of flavor like uh, a treble that is more present in a way um, yeah so uh, amazing the switch is active passive uh, back to the rotary switch uh, pickup selector uh, it's basically uh, the bridge and then the bridge and middle in series like in a old school music man and then um, bridge and neck for in parallel like a jazz bass and then the neck like a P bass. When I say that like a it's more like uh, it's not like Dingwall trying to imitate like the jazz bass or P bass. Uh, it's basically uh, um, within the flavor of the Dingwall you get like a little bit more in that area. Uh, and again, the bass is like, I would say, in a better quality than the, um, than the combustions, basically. Um, also, uh, because of the bridge, I, I, I wish and I, I think also that the, the other basses will eventually come with this bridge. It sounds phenomenal and it sounds more organic, a little bit more nicer than the combustions and 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 the engines. And when I say nicer, I don't mean like necessarily better, but but the combustions and and the engines are also like in your face. Um, this one is a little more grounded, uh, a little more. When I may, when I mean nice, I actually mean or when I say nice, I actually mean a little more polite. Basically, like like a a bit more ready for a pop song. Basically, um, I dig it a lot, and uh, I hope this will be a great success because it deserves it. So hey, what's not to like? Back to the groove and take care. Make love, not war. Bye.